We're out here to do another launch of our Eliminator 7 rocket. We've launched this several times. It's proven itself to be a really nice rocket. It's even crashed a couple of times. Uh, we've done some minor repairs to it, but it's holding together really well. So we've got two changes today. We've got our new 3D printed nose cone. It's coated with epoxy. This is super slick, nice efficient design. So we're hoping that we get a little bit more altitude because of that new nose cone. This will also be the first launch using our brand new ripstop nylon parachute. So we're really excited to see that perform. So let's go have a launch. Coming down fast. Parachute's out. Nice. One thousand three hundred and ninety feet. That's what we got for that rocket launch, which is pretty good. It was a little bit less than our previous launch, which was one thousand four hundred and sixty feet. So we actually lost seventy feet, which is a little bit interesting because with the new nose cone, we were actually expecting it to be a little more aerodynamic. And we were hoping for more altitude, not less. But there's several factors that play into that. Um, the wind could have been a factor. There's also variables in the making of the fuel as well, which may have made the fuel just a little bit more efficient last time, a little less efficient this time. But we're pretty happy with that altitude. It's pretty standard for this rocket and that motor. Now looking at our nose cone, we used this time a 3D printed nose cone. It's coated with a two-part epoxy. It's a very nice nose cone. It weighs almost the same, just a few grams different than the other nose cone that we normally launch. Um, this is a really nice homemade nose cone that just about anybody can make. I'll put a link down in the description to the video on how to make this. It's a great nose cone that fits really good onto 4-inch cardboard shipping tubes for a 4-inch rocket. Now, I always expected that this nose cone probably wasn't the most aerodynamic and most efficient design. Um, it was really designed around simplicity. And actually, I used a um, soda bottle for the mold that had these little indents in it. And that was really just to be fancy. I really expected that to decrease the performance, but it looks really nice. 
Um, and that's kind of why we expected this nose cone to perform better, just being a, a parabolic nose cone shape. Um, we really expected to see that more aerodynamic and get a little more altitude. But apparently, there's really not that much difference in performance between these two. So that was an interesting test. So this is a really fun uh, project to build. They come out really nice and you can get some slightly different designs here depending on what type of uh, two liter soda bottle you use for the mold. But in the future we're probably going to be moving forward with 3D printed nose cones just because of the simplicity. Set it to print in the evening and when you wake up in the morning you've got to finish the nose cone. Unless something goes wrong around 2 or 3 a.m. and you end up with something like that. But that's a whole other story. Now the parachute. This was our first ripstop nylon parachute that we've made. This was a prototype design. Um, in this particular one, we had one shroud line fail. Um, you see here it's a three strand string and one of the strands broke off and you see this puck ring that it did. The shroud line goes through the outer edge of this parachute and this one obviously just pulled a little too hard and damaged the shroud line. Now this was a prototype design. We're still working on a new design for our ripstop nylon parachute. Um, but this was interesting because um, first of all it showed us that uh, we probably should upgrade to a, a slightly stronger shroud line and we're working on that. And also it really hadn't occurred to me um, about replacing the shroud line in this. This is stitched into the perimeter of the parachute. So it's not impossible to replace this shroud line, but it would actually be really difficult to replace this shroud line. So on this particular one, this is really done. We're working on a completely new shroud line design, um, and it's coming out really nice. So hopefully if that works good on our next launch, we'll have a really good video for you on uh, a new parachute to DIY build. We are getting close to having 1,000 subscribers on our channel. We're really excited about that and we thank you for subscribing. We really thank you for watching our videos. So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to us. And if you like what we're doing, click the like button. It really helps our channel. We do have a 1,000 subscriber special planned. We're hoping it will be a really spectacular event with an all new completely homemade rocket design. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.